Good morning. Today is December 8th. It's the 8th of December. Um, just got ready for the day. It's uh, gone and been noon, but um, that is the privilege of somebody on maternity leave, I guess. Yesterday, well, I might have shown you this already, but I wound up my Woolly Mammoth Fiber Company uh, sock yarn and I cast on a vanilla sock. And this is where I am already. So I really love the contrast. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, and I have to say that the, it's almost like a salmon pink. Like it's not my usual color, but I really like it in this combination. And yeah, it's going quite fast, I have to say. Um, you might be able to hear that it is lunch break for the kids outside. So they're yelling like they always are. Um, today, actually after I finish my drink, Excuse me. I plan on going to Ikea uh, because we need new curtains for the bedroom. We used to have like just normal cotton white curtains, uh, but they don't really block out any light. Um, and we were thinking that both for a possible home birth as well as coming home with a baby who will sleep in our bedroom, some actual dark at night would probably be good. So, gonna look for some curtains and maybe some shelves for the nursery corner. We're not making a, like a whole dedicated nursery room, but there will be a corner in the second bedroom with like a nappy station and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm ready to like bring the actual camera to Ikea um, because filming in public is not something that I'm used to but I might do some stealth videos with um with my phone also making this like the first vlog the festive vlog has made me realize how much work editing of a like actual vlog video is because usually like podcast is just me sitting down talking and then i edit out weird stuff and make sure that it's like one story but like people who do for example travel vlogs or like building stuff you have to think about everything like what shots you want and how you want them and how it's all gonna work together it's crazy so new fan appreciation for youtubers also well i already had this appreciation but the people doing vlogmas every day and editing a video every day that's a lot of work like i'm not even working at the moment and it like the first vlog took me half a day to edit and then there's also the thing of like finding fun music <gasps> emily from emily kate made this actually used the same music as i did because uh, it's really fun cheerful mu cheer cheery cheerful cheery or cheerful both the music is very cheerful um but finding royalty free music that is festive and is fun is hard actually it's one of the reasons <laughs> i want to get to a thousand subscribers uh because for if you're on youtube and you have a channel and you want to monetize it so that means that you get some ad money from youtube um and so even if you're not monetized people will still probably see ads when watching your videos um and it's not that i want 
to make money off of YouTube. But if you're going to be watching ads anyways, I'd rather get some money from, from that as well. And uh, what I want to get when, if, let's say if, if my channel ever gets monetized is like um, something like Epidemic Sound or something where you can uh, use music. So it's not royalty free because it's a paid for service. Um, but they have like libraries full of music you can use um, because I don't want to rip off anybody so I look for people who make royalty free music uh, but I also want nice music and it's hard to find and the good music that's out there a lot of people use um, because it's royalty free so you know <laughs> If I ever get a thousand subscribers, that's what I'll spend the first money on, I think. Um, so it's actually really funny because to be monetized on YouTube, you need two things, mainly two things. You need 1000 subscribers and you need 4000 watch hours over the course of a year. Um, and the watch hours are no problem because my podcasts are very long. So I think I'm at 3,950 at this point, uh, which is a ridiculous amount of time. It's so weird to think about, like almost 4,000 hours. People have been listening or watching me for 4,000 hours. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, so the watch hours are no problem, but the subscribers have been around 800 for months, which is fine because 800 people is a lot of people. Um, but every video I post, <laughs> I keep losing subscribers and I don't know why. I mean, it's fine because I, I want you to be here because you want to be here. Um, but the first time it happened, I was like, what? What did I do wrong? And now it's just every time I look on the app, it's like, oh, yeah, bye. It amuses me now, which is, I think, the healthier option. Um, Yeah, so I'm just going to finish this row. Going to finish my drink. And then... I slash we slash we all are going to Ikea, I think. A little, a little shopping trip. I haven't been shopping in forever. <sighs> oh, also very exciting yesterday. Well, exciting. What has my life become? But um, yesterday, uh, the stroller was delivered. Uh, it had been out for delivery for a week and a half, but because of Black Friday and Sinterklaas, um, the delivery people have been so busy that it was just postponed every day. Um, which is fine, because they work very hard, and I only need to stroller when baby is ready to go, when baby and I are ready to go outside. Um, but that arrived yesterday, so we put it together and three guesses to what color it is it's blue of course so that was very exciting oh and this sweater i'm wearing so you might have noticed that whole of last week i was wearing my drema sweater by jennifer steingas uh, which I knit in Let Lopi, and it's one of my favorite sweaters because one, it fits, two, it's very warm, and three, since I washed it again, it has softened up so much, but I thought, I have other sweaters, so I better wear them. So today I'm wearing the, let's see, well, you can see it like this, can you see it like this? I'm not sure if we are in focus. Are we in focus? I don't know. Uh, it's the Little Twigs sweater. Little Twigs sweater by Melody Hoffman from Bee Mandarins. And it is knit up in 
uh, naturally dyed merino from Studio Solas, of course. back on the couch uh, went to Ikea got most of what I wanted uh, there's just some decorations for the nursery that I didn't find and it was so busy that I did not feel like um, asking people um, I had some lunch or not lunch I had a cinnamon bun and a soda and then I tried to get out of Ikea again because I, I had already paid and I went back to the restaurant and then you have to do the whole loop of the downstairs uh, thing again. <laughs> so I was kind of lost. I was just waddling around. Um, but yeah, it was a good trip. It took me two and a half hours, even though it's like 10 minutes away. Um, but things just go slower when you're very, very pregnant. I don't know actually if I showed you... So these are the socks that I'm making. I did show you that, I know that. But, so this is the big 100 gram. But the look at this little one. It's so cute. So for vanilla socks, I usually do 20 rounds. This is 20 rounds of just two by two rib. And then I've decided that I'm gonna do 10, which equates to about four centimeters. Then I'm gonna do 10 centimeters of just stockinette for the leg. And then I'm gonna do a heel flap and gusset. Um, I use Melody Hoffman or B Mandarin's YouTube video for vanilla socks. That's how I first learned to knit socks. Because why would you buy a pattern if... Well, you can learn it on YouTube. I, I, I learned it fine. She taught me well, but um, in hindsight, I sh should have just bought a pattern. But I transcribed the whole video, um, which I will link below if I don't forget. Uh, it's a really good video. Uh, but so heel flap and gusset and judging of how little I used, I will be perfectly able to do uh, the heel flap with the cool contrast and I'm probably also the toe, but I'll be sure to weigh it because it was 20 grams. Mm, so I should have at least half left when I start the second sock. But now, while we still have a little bit of daylight, it's time for day eight of the advent counter. Let's see. Ooh, this is nice. It's a sand colored beige. I know I always smell them, but they just smell so good. Hmm. And they make very good moustaches. Um, yeah. Rest of the day, I'm just gonna, I think, spend on the couch. Um, Emma from Emma Robinson from the Woolly Mammoth Fiber Company, uh, who died this yarn just had another episode of her vlogmas out so i'm gonna watch that and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna chill on the couch so that's what we're gonna do
Um, so I'm still knitting away. Uh, I've moved on to Emily Kate Mater's Vlogmas episode 7. Um, but I was actually feeling snackish. Uh, and I thought I'd show you this because I don't know if you know it. So, as you might know, I'm Dutch. Uh, and in Dutch, we celebrate Sinterklaas, which is probably what Santa Claus was based on. Um, but he, the saint, Saint Nick, he uh, hands out, among other things, uh, chocolate letters. So, this is my year's chocolate letter. My dad slash Sinterklaas always gets these for the whole family. Um, and this gorgeous thing is pure chocolate with nuts and cranberries. So I'm gonna dig into that and not knit and eat chocolate because that brings stains. <laughs> um, but eat this, make sure that there's nothing left on my hands and continue knitting. Hello, I just came home from a lovely visit with my friend. Um, we had some tea, we had a walk, we had some pie, apple tart, uh, apple pie with lots of whipped cream, very Dutch. Uh, we unfortunately lost the daylight, so I'm going to show you day nine without daylight. I also discovered that there's loads of presents in my advent box that are unnumbered but I think we shall go through them together in daylight and I'm not gonna look at them now I'm not <sighs> so we'll do that this weekend but let's see what day nine has in store <gasps> Ooh. now that's pretty It's like a blue, blue green. And they smell so nice. Um, I'm still working on my sock. So I've turned the heel. And now I'm gonna sit in it on the couch a bit. Yes. Very relaxed. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. Well, it's gone 11.30, but let's call it morning. I have quite a busy day ahead of me. Um, well, <laughs> busy for my standards, I guess my normal busy is busier than the busiest now um but uh it's saturday so that means that i'm visiting my grandmother uh and after that i have my last singing lesson vocal lesson class i don't know uh every week i have a class a lesson um to practice my singing I'm sorry if you can hear construction noises outside. It's Saturday morning and it's another construction day, apparently. Um, so I have the singing and then uh, my husband's cousin is coming over and they're gonna play games uh, and cook and stuff. 
but so that's three social interactions in one day uh, and I also have to pick up a gift for my teacher uh, because she has gifted and lended me so many baby things um, and she gives great glasses classes so I'm gonna pick up some macarons I think and a bottle of bubbles I might record a bit of the class but I might not because it might be awkward if you want to hear me singing uh, on my channel there is a Christmas song that I did a couple years ago I wrote it myself and we recorded it and it was really fun but I thought before I go do all of that there's daylight and I want to show you all the extra presents that are in my box that I discovered that are undated so I can open them anytime. Also, you might notice that my hair is tied up in a in a braid. I should be washing it. Uh, Saturday usually is my wash, wash day, but there's too much going on. It's too cold outside. It's actually freezing. It's minus one outside, which is very cold. Also, I'm gonna show you this. I'll turn you around. Old trees have lost their leaves, except for this, this one. Look at it. There's just one, one tree, the rest mostly bare. And then there's just this one, one yellow tree outside. I don't know, maybe it's right on top of something warm in the ground? Okay, presents. So there's a stack of undated things here. But I want to start with a pen. Which is this one. Also, you guys are my procrastination from doing all the things. <gasps> it's nice. Am I in focus? I don't know. Oh, this is, well, I think this shows it off best. It's like the softest touch of pink. Usually I'm not a pink girl, but this, well, there's accidental pink stripes on the shirt I couldn't return. Didn't want to return, actually. But it's, it reminds me of the inside of seashells. That's very pretty. Okay, <clears throat> so now for the extra prezies. First there's this. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And they are Kleurrijke Bloembommetjes. Oh, they're uh, seed bombs. Where, which is actually really nice, because, <clears throat> so you, just spread these outside in a bare patch of crap, dirt, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and they give flowers. I can already plant them or just throw them out. And then in spring, there will be flowers. Ooh. So the tree actually I just showed you it has like um, a little patch of dirt it stands in and I planted some plants in there uh, it's just council ground but nobody does anything with it so I just put some plants in there um, and I've been doing pretty well actually so I'm gonna add these to that Death. oh this is a lovely card Look at that. Isn't that just where we want to be? In a sweater, in a field, with sheep? What are some mist? That's a really nice card. Death. The paper makers, handmade paper. Ooh, oh, and it's already falling out. Let's see. Oh, it's some beautiful handmade paper. 
it's yeah it's it's too bright to show you but it's not like white white it's like off-white that's really nice to write somebody a special note or make a an art piece I actually used to make paper myself with my grandparents my grandfather was very handy and he built me like the sift structures you need to create paper and we just ripped up all these old newspapers put it in a bath and then uh, scooped out new new paper but wait there's more oh hey, hey, yeah this is a very lovely tote bag uh, it's sturdy canvas and then with a print sewn on a really lovely print that'll be very nice to keep all my prezzies in and then I think there's one more there's no date on it as you can see but it does have a beautiful I think I know what this is because I follow her on Instagram I think this is wild ink from Sonia Tara I'll link her down below she makes all kinds of wild ink and she's pretty cool Blackberry wood ink pen and a seashell ink well. <laughs> so this is the pen and that's the card. And then there's a little ink well. And that should hint towards ink wild ink birch oh that's pretty and I think that's the color good morning oh thank you good morning I'll pause this so we were uh my uh, Martin, my husband brought me my phone because my granny called and it's very misty outside and she always worries about us so she always calls when it's cold or it's raining or whatever's going on she's like oh no dear don't come you shouldn't come but usually i just say no coming anyways Ooh, and then this is more wild ink and it's oak gall and that's the color. I think I will combine the inks with the paper to do something fun. And I might take you along. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, let's put you safely back. Did I already lose the shell? Oh no, it's here. It was under my belly. <laughs> Baby's getting too big. Let's see if there are any more undated packages. There is, I think, but it's so big. It's something hard. I think there's a full size skein in, skein in here, but there's also a book. I'm not ready. We'll do this another day. This was enough instant gratification. We'll wait. But I do want to know what it is. Alright. Did I already show you this print? I think I'll use it as a book, um, what do you call that? A, 
bookmark a bookmark we are we are doing uh the last last song we're doing we would do it every year it's um last christmas but then from a cover from two girls i think they're called new harvest it's a very pretty rendition i'll link i'll link their song down below you should really listen to it because uh they uh, they've done it with um not having a good english day multiple voices no i'll link it watch it it's really cool i'll see you later Sunday today the 11th I think yesterday I finished my sock my first sock uh, I did a heel flap and gusset and then I weighed my contrast because I forgot to do it after the heel and I had exactly 10 grams left of my little contrast um which means that i have exactly enough because it's a 20 gram mini to do the other sock so i started the other sock last night and then i knit a couple rounds on it this morning um this afternoon i am going to a friend of mine uh, for a meetup with other friends, um, some of whom, some of whom, some of them I've known for, well, one I've known for 26 years, because we met when we were four, uh, and the other ones I've also known for a long, long time, and we are doing a little high tea, and I said, I would make scones, or scones, scones, however you want to pronounce it, uh, but I actually don't have everything uh, that I need, so my darling husband went out to get it for me, because I just cleaned the kitchen, and I had to have <laughs> uh, a little sit down, because it was out of breath, so today I'm 36 weeks pregnant, and uh, I think it's time to admit that carrying a child is hard work <laughs> and that you need a lot of rest. So, um, yeah, later today we'll unwrap my advent, but first I'm gonna have a little sit in it 
uh, wait for my husband to come back and then we'll make scones and like the poor man's version of clotted cream because clotted cream is the best but you can't really get it in the Netherlands um, so I have a recipe that um, tells you how to make it without actually having clotted cream so yeah but first some coffee a little sit in it and then we'll make scones I always use the BBC Good Food Classic Scones recipe. Uh, I'll link it below. Um, and I'm just gonna pop you somewhere and we'll make scones. If you hear something, it's the cat. I will show you. That's Sammy. Um, Sammy needs to be fed in a slow manner, otherwise he eats twice, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna pop my headphones on and listen to some Lord of the Rings. And I'll put you, I don't know where I'll put you, but I'll put you somewhere, maybe overhead. And then, so. Yes, let's just get going.
Beautiful.